What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm not 100% sure, but today may be my last training session before Maidens of Might this upcoming weekend. If you are unfamiliar with um, like powerlifting, um, weightlifting, like Olympic lifting, strongman, we have what's called the deload week. And what that means is that you either take the entire week off, like the week before or the week after a competition, sometimes both. And that basically just gives your muscles a chance to recover fully before going into something like a competition. A lot of times we don't really max out during like training. So we save it all until the actual competition day. So like my training that I'm doing, I'm not going, I'm going heavy, but I'm not going as heavy as what I can. And so the purpose of that is so that way you really just throw everything you have into that competition and not worry about it during training because you don't want to max out everything in training and then maybe hurt yourself, get an injury, uh, strain something or anything along those lines. Today I am doing two separate lifts because of course I didn't lift yesterday like I was supposed to. It was extremely, extremely cold here and it was so windy and it was like raining off and on. It is still very cold today. I know I'm in a tank top. The sun is very nice. On this side of my house, there's no wind. So I'm just hanging out here in my driveway per usual. And what I have going on today is deadlifts, um, a little bit of squatting and a little bit of pressing. So let's go ahead and jump right on in. All right guys, so the first exercise of the day is gonna be deadlift. So I got my bar out here. I'm gonna do a total of 190 pounds. And so I don't have any 45s that are out of storage, so I'm using 35s today. So I got my bar, my 35s, and then a couple of two and a halfs. That'll equal my 190. So you'll probably see on my videos, maybe my Instagram if you are there too, but I do a variety of deadlifts. So I do anything from sumos, conventional, RDLs, uh, pause deadlifts, I also do um, some deficit de uh, deadlifts, a 12 or 13 inch platform deadlift, a variety of them. My absolute favorite is a conventional deadlift. I am a much stronger sumo deadlifter, but conventional deadlift is definitely by far my favorite. I really don't want to do sumo. I'm trying to get away from that, but I am a strong sumo deadlifter, unfortunately for me. I'm going to warm up with the bar probably throw a couple plates on the side and then eventually get into my lift, which I have two by two. So two sets, two reps in and out super quick. And then we'll move on to the next one. exercises on my makeshift squat rack here. I don't think this is actually a squat rack. I think this is actually for bench press, but it was something that my husband had when I met him. <laughs> so I use it to my advantage. But I have two exercises, like I said. First one I'm gonna do is called a zercher squat. And so I'll be setting the bar right in the crease of my arms and keeping my arms nice and straight as I squat down and then bring it back up. Only thing you don't wanna do when you're doing the zercher squats is to let it take you forward because then it's really gonna pull on that back. Second exercise is called a good morning. So if you guys probably recognize a good morning like on your shoulders, you'll sit the bar right along here and then lean forward for like your hamstrings. It works a little bit of the abs. We're gonna do that, but holding it the same way as you would a zercher squat. for a minute my <sighs> Monday or Tuesday 
my hip started hurting really bad and it hasn't gone away since. Since my first knee surgery, I've had a lot of sciatic issues and it radiates up into my neck. And so then like it starts to hurt my neck to the point where I can't turn certain directions. Like when I'm driving and I go to like turn behind me, I'm kind of dealing with that right now. I might have to foam roll. We'll see how it feels. But man, if you have sciatic issues, how do you take care of it? Let me know. I do a lot of stretching and stuff, but it just, it comes back all the time and I just want it gone, but I don't think it's going to. But anyways, back to lifting. So I've pretty much finished everything on my day five that I that my coach has programmed for me So now I'm gonna move up and go to day four. I am going to do strict press And so I have my log out here. I don't know if you can see that it is so Bright I can't even tell if the camera is focusing on me So just go with it because the Sun is literally right there and then I'm gonna hop into it looks like I have uh, reverse curls bench press. I'll probably do that inside just so I don't have to haul the bench out here And then I got some abs. There's not much left. Excellent We're gonna do bench press and dips and call it good. But before I head inside, I just remembered that I forgot to tell you guys why this might be the last workout of the week. So obviously I have a strong man coach. So it's basically up to him, whatever he decides. And so I haven't heard from him yet today, so it's all in his hands. So I'll be signing off as soon as we finish up my exercises inside. And so don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That way you are the first to know anytime a new video pops up. Make sure to give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we will catch you next time. Bye guys.